I'm David Carroll, I'm the Managing Director of Nominet Cyber. I'm Kim Wiles, I'm a Product Manager here at Nominet. I'm Lizzie Griffiths and I'm the Marketing Lead at Nominet Cyber. My name is Paul Lewis and I'm the Chief Information Security Officer here at Nominet. Hi, my name is Moiresh Valke, I'm the Head of Customer Success and Operations at Nominet and the Service Owner for PDNS. So Nominet Cyber, we're about 70 people, we're based in Oxford in the UK and we deliver the protective DNS service on behalf of the National Cybersecurity Centre in the UK and the Australian Cybersecurity Centre. I work with our threat intelligence teams to look at new ways we can protect our customers as cyber threats evolve and to make sure we can get our data and insights to our customers to help them better protect their networks. So as Chief Information Security Officer, my role is to make sure that all the systems, services, processes and people within Nominate are as, uh, as secure as they can possibly be. So part of my job is helping to build awareness of PGNS, uh, whether that's through communications, webinars or at events like Cyber UK. The team's comprised of two parts uh, in what we do for the service. Uh, number one, uh, we look after all customer interactions, so that's a vast majority of UK public sector that uses PDNS. Uh, the team's responsible for their customer experience from onboarding on day one to the lifetime of the usage um, of, of, of the service. Uh, number two, it's the important threat intelligence that powers PDNS. It, it helps decide what should or should not be blocked, uh, what's malicious, what's not malicious. Uh, all of the threat research that goes into making that possible is also what we do uh, day to day. PDNS can protect most organisations from most of the threats that they might face on the internet for most of the time, which is, I guess, in keeping with the mantra of the Active Cyber Defence Programme. And uh, I think PDNS is uh, unique in its scale and its efficacy. You can protect an entire government or you can protect an entire nation if you want to. Uh, whilst PDNS is relatively simple to understand as a concept, I think it's, uh, it's one of the best kept secrets in cybersecurity simply because it is so effective. UK PDNS helps protect our public services from cyber disruption and that leaves more room for innovation and growth in our digital economy. When we start looking at how we detect and actually mitigate uh, problems, for example phishing or any kind of cyber attacks, we can make sure that what we do is react quickly, efficiently and ensure that we protect the UK government. We're constantly looking at ways we can evolve PGNS to ensure that we're protecting against today and tomorrow's threat. PGNS is an extremely effective service and it does so without much fuss. And we know this because we've got evidence of it blocking malicious cyber threats from impacting organisations that use the service. Organisations uh, ranging from central to local government, from healthcare to uh, emergency services, all of whom pro provide very critical services to citizens uh, it allows them to continue doing that with minimal interruptions, therefore resulting in a much more secure and resilient internet for everyone in the UK. Education is key. We need to make sure cybersecurity best practices and online safety are baked into education and professional training from day one. The more we get our people into a security and safety mindset online, the better they'll be able to take those lessons in their personal life and their professional life going forward. Personally, I'd like to see more intervention from government, so greater number of initiatives under the Active Cyber Defence Programme. But also I'd like to see the cybersecurity community, that's public and private sector, coming together more to do more initiatives that are not necessarily based around profit. Obviously, um, you know, a lot of organisations are uh, uh, profit-based organisations, but the problem is such that we need to play together in order to build collective resilience. So I'd like to see more public benefit initiatives. When we start talking about an open and resilient future, we need to be really confident in the systems and services which we rely on on a daily basis. And working together to understand the basics around phishing, cyber attacks, and ensuring that actually we are doing things collectively is really, really important. <music>